Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950, NAMI 800-950-6264. And you can also text at uh, 741741. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Happy Friday. I hope everybody's week was productive and that you had a great week. You didn't stress too much and uh, you kept your head up and you protected yourself. So today I just want to talk about another story. Um, this happened in Kent, I think it's Kentwood, uh, Missouri. And uh, the lady's name is Amber. Uh, her husband, she was eight. She was pregnant. I'm not sure how far along she was, but she was pregnant and she already had two children, two daughters, um, and her husband um, strangled her to death and lied and said that she um, got strangled in a sweatshirt as she was trying to take it off, which everyone knew that was a lie. But anyway, the this lady... She seemed to have everything going for her. She was a school teach uh, school teacher, and she taught uh, English to people who that was their second language. So she taught that to them, uh, and she was just an all around wonderful person. You know, her family s speaks about how wonderful she was. Now, on the other hand, she married a man who. Um, had a violent past. Even as a child, he threatened to burn the house down and kill the family pet. And um, it seemed as though his family tried to get help because uh, as of today, as a grown adult, he's on medication. So um, in this story, she never expressed the abuse that she was going through. She never told anyone, so no one had a clue. She hit, hit it pretty well. And just like the story yesterday, she thought that she could manage um, the abuse. And she wanted to help him and make him a better person. But I've said many times before that it's not your place to fix a person. I know that um, as much as you care for someone, you want the best for them. So you go out of your way to try to fix this person. And um, you sometimes get into a position that's uh, causing you to be mistreated uh, because you're trying to do whatever it takes to fix this person. And that's not your job. Um, I don't care who it is. You just can't fix somebody that's broken and that needs help. And clearly this man needed help um, because he uh, was supposed to be taking his meds, but I, doubt, I highly doubt that he was taking them because of his action. He was beating on her, kicking her, and uh, just wreaking havoc in her life, and she was hiding this and trying to be a light to others, but um, it didn't work. This man uh, was very dangerous, and you know, if a person is dealing with a mental illness, they need to seek the correct help. And like I said in a few videos, that that's not your calling to try to help this person. Uh, your thing is to get away from this person, protect yourself and your family. And thankful enough, he didn't kill his children. But uh, even his own father, when they was trying to find out who murdered her, uh, said that 98% of the chance was pointed toward his son. So everybody knew, well, his family knew his uh, violent tendencies, and she also knew, his wife knew. So um, sometimes you have to walk away, you know, walk away from a situation that's not getting any better. Don't sit, uh, sit around and try to fix it. I know that it's scary to leave, and I know that you don't want to feel the shame and people pointing their fingers at you, but... Um, you know, look at it as to who cares, you know. You have to do whatever it takes to uh, protect yourself. Self-preservation need to, must, need, I'm sorry, self-preservation must be something that you take uh, seriously. 
You can't be in a relationship where this person is flying off the handle, this person is doing everything, and you're walking on eggshells to make things right, to make people see the best in somebody that is falling apart. Um, the best thing that could have happened for this person if she had just left him and um, allowed him to get the healing that he need and made sure that she stayed protected. She even writes about how that uh, she didn't think it was safe lying next to him. And it's ironic that uh, those words that she said lying next to him is what he did. He uh, killed her and went downstairs. So just be mindful of who you're dealing with. And if you know that you see uh, a relationship that's going through something and, you know, you can pick up on when people are not uh, at their best, even if they're always smiling, there's something about them that shows that something is not right. And if this is a friend of yours, don't point fingers, be as kind as possible and let them know that um, you are a safe person to talk to. You know, God put us around here to help one another. So you can't be oblivious to the fact that something is going on. If you see something, say something. You know, you don't have to make a person feel so low because in a relationship such as that, you already feel like uh, like your purpose is is like you're you have no purpose you already feel like um you can't do anything right to make this relationship work and you already do enough of self-doubt and pointing fingers and self-blame and you try to work on yourself by diminishing who you are to stay in a relationship that's not working so if you know somebody that's going through this don't make them feel no worse than they already feel simply try to help them uh, the best way that you can and in doing so stay safe make sure that um, you know uh, whatever it takes to get this person out of this relationship but in the in the same breath stay safe because a lot of people have uh, died trying to help someone so I would suggest that you get uh, the police involved you know suggest that this friend go to a shelter you know keep things um, hidden from the abuser because um, don't give them any ammunition, anything to um, further make your life uh, miserable. So stay out of the limelight with this person. Stop trying to be a savior to a person who is so awful to you and who has no intentions on getting help. See, this guy um, knows there was a mental problem but as most of people do they stop taking the medication and sometimes they self-medicate so if she knew this he knew this his family knew this and he became violent to her the only option she had was to leave this person and pretty much uh let everyone know what he's doing you know unfortunately they don't mention that she ever called the police she just wrote about it so i'm suggesting that when you do call the police and you do get out of this situation please don't go back because it's going to end um badly for you and um like i said if you know someone that's going through this help them share this video and please remember to like subscribe and share and i will see you again next week i hope you all have a wonderful weekend uh hold your head up don't allow anyone to uh turn your light off you know keep keep moving and protect yourself don't stay in a relationship no longer than you have to please be safe and i will see you again next week